Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. I want to talk about two very important terms here. Um, they're kind of used incorrectly quite often, and I want to try to clear this up. So the difference between an infection and a disease. So an infection is when you've been invaded or colonized by a pathogen, which is an organism that's capable of producing a disease. A disease is when you've now disrupted homeostasis. You're now, it's in an abnormal state where there are some signs, there are some sim symptoms, there's some disruption to normal bodily functions. So I know we do use the words interchangeably, but you can have an infection and not have a disease. You can have an infection and never get a disease. So let's think about a few examples of when you are infected, but you don't have a disease. First would be just the incubation period of any disease, any infectious disease. You've been infected, you've been colonized, you've been invaded, but you don't actually have any symptoms yet. So the incubation period would be a good example of when you have an infection but not a disease. And then think about the kind of diseases that comes that, that comes months, years, or even decades later. Shingles is a good example. So you've been infected with the virus that causes shingles for potentially decades before you get it. Um, HIV, HIV infection, C. diff is another great example. If someone actually has a C. diff infection, the term we use, um, you know, they could have been colonized by that C. diff decades before. So just to review, an infection is when you've been colonized or in, and or invaded by a pathogen, but you don't have a disease yet. You have a disease when you've now um, lost some bodily function, you have some signs or symptom, symptoms, there's a disruption to homeostasis, the maintenance of that stable internal environment. So I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.